Have you ever in your life been ashamed of the gospel? Have you ever refused to say something when you should have said it? Have you ever kept your mouth shut when you knew you should have opened it? I think everybody in here at one time or another probably says, man, I wish I should have said something. I should have said something to that waitress. I should have left a trap. I should have said something to that. But there are times when either it's inconvenient or whether it's, you know, Paul says, I'm not ashamed. He wasn't afraid to tell anybody anywhere. And he paid the price for it. He got beat up more than once. Stoned and left for dead. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? For it's the power of God unto salvation. Nobody's going to get saved unless they hear the gospel. That's it. That's the power of God. The power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. See, it, the, the early Christians who were all Jews, they thought that there was still a division. They thought that for a, a Gentile to come into the family, into the household of faith, that they had to become a Jew. They had to be circumcised and they had to do the law, the Torah, and so forth. The first big uh, dispute in the church, the Jerusalem Council, Acts chapter 15, they were dealing with the Gentile problem. They had a Gentile problem. What are we going to do with these Gentiles? Not Denny. <laughs> That's Denny's last name, but I'm not talking about it. But they had, they, they had you know, the non-Jews. The, 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 they, they were like, we're, we got all these, like, uh, all these uh, Gentiles coming in here, and they're not circumcised, and they eat pork, and they don't know the law of Moses, and, and they determined that they didn't have to. Thank God. Thank God I don't have to wear a yarmulke whenever I come to church. I don't have to wear a prayer shawl. You know, I don't have to go through all that stuff. Because, why? Because uh, Peter said, if you read that in Acts chapter 15, he said, listen, we couldn't do all that stuff. How do we expect them to do it? And they were raised with it from children. You know, they, were, they had to drill into them from when they were old enough to understand. So Peter says, if it couldn't save us, do we think it's going to save them? And all they did was they gave the Gentiles some, some things because there were Jews everywhere. They didn't want to offend the Jewish. So they said, you know, don't eat things strangled or things with blood and so forth. But he goes on and he says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel, verse 17. For therein, in the gospel, is the righteousness of God revealed. Remember we said there's righteousness and there's wrath. We're going to see that all through this letter. <laughs> For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And remember last week I said that that, that sentence right there was a quotation from the book of Habakkuk, the Old Testament prophet, and it's quoted a couple different times in the New Testament. And it says that's the way we, how are we saved? How are we supposed to live? We're supposed to live by faith. We're saved by faith. We live by faith. Faith. We believe what Jesus did on the cross was sufficient to have my sins forgiven. I don't have to work for it. I don't have to earn it. I don't have to say so many prayers. I don't have to crawl anywhere on my knees. It was done on the cross. And when I put my faith on the cross, if you, if you, if you remember in John chapter 3, it says, just like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Remember that story? Where the people were being bit by serpents because they were murmuring and complaining. And, and uh, God told Moses, you know, put a, a brazen serpent on a pole and lift it up. And all they had to do was look at it. Now, there wasn't some, some kind of magic on that serpent, but it was by obedience, believing what God said. If God said, look at it, they looked at it, and they lived. Look up and live. The same thing with Jesus hanging on the cross. It's not a, 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 a series of things that we have to do. It's faith. We believe God, and it's counted as for righteousness. Okay. <clears throat> 